Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here, not in Australia, we're still in Prague. Today, we've got the first day of the World Rowing Indoor Championships, presented by Concept2, and this video will be in collaboration with World Rowing. So, big shout out to them for letting me do this and having the opportunity to come out here and race. Today, this morning, had a good breakfast, good fueling to get us ready for the first event, which is going to be the beep test. So for us, for the men, 1150 meters in five minutes and 40 seconds. Then another round, 11 minutes, 1150 meters in five minutes and 20 seconds. And then as the rounds go on, it gets 20 seconds less, but the distance stays the same. So the splits for the first couple of rounds, Manageable, easy, 228, 221, 210, 201. But then, as we go down, it gets faster and faster. The last round being 126, I think it's 0.9. So very fast splits if you can hold on. But it's not just those individual times. You've got other rounds before that that's gonna build up fatigue. So it's questionable how far we can get. For the men, it's questionable if we can even finish the entire workout. So for us, it's gonna be basically get to that last round and see who can do the most meters in that round. For the women on the other hand, there'll be a few athletes, including Elizabeth, that should be able to finish the workout. So her strategy becomes who can do the entirety of the meters in the fastest time. So slightly different strategies for the men and women, but for now we've got maybe an hour or so till we start, a little bit more than an hour. We're gonna get in, organized, rested, put the feet up, and then we're gonna get warmed up for the first event of the Versa Challenge in the World Rowing Indoor Championships presented by Concept2. Time for a little bit of a warm up. The rowing fin, one of the competitors. Don't tell anyone I'm filming, but we're about three or four rounds in. All the music, everyone's going. It's going to get tougher from here on out. So second place in the first event. Now cooling down, fueling up, because remember for this fuel, watch Elizabeth. And then we get up to the next event. And we've cooled down, we're relaxing, we're going to grab some food and we've got a little bit of checking on the results, so may not have came second, we're just waiting on confirmation. But as well here at the World Rowing Indoor Championships, we've got some familiar faces. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, so they're racing tomorrow, just getting the legs moving, doing some big watts, you know how it is. Enjoy and good luck. Now for me, we're gonna get some food and watch the women do their beep test in the best challenge. Please pick up handles. Sit ready. Attention. And the women are off. And after some media duties, we're going to finish up fueling because remember food is fuel, lovely sweet potato and beef. We've got plenty of time between this our event and the next event. We've got Dylan here as well, We've got plenty of time just to rest, get the feet up. For me, having a bigger meal now and then probably a smaller meal later will be fine. Tomorrow will be different with the multiple events, but right now 
feeling up, watching the women do their thing, and then we go back to the apartment. And we've got Elizabeth winning the Women Versa Challenge. Absolutely delightful. Now it's her turn to fuel up, to rest up, then we come back here to race again. Oh. And now we rest. And now we race. And we've finished our event. Straight on to the relays now. The big boys going real hard. Ended up in second place on that one. There was confirmation on the last event. I ended up fourth, I think. Still some discussions, not 100% sure. So that second place brings me up. And it was real. that was a fun one. That was a really good one where it wasn't necessarily go as hard as you can. There was very hard moments, but I was quite lucky to be in the erg that I was in. I could see different guys bring up the rate and then react to that. Rather than seeing the screen, I might be four or five places different on them on the screen. So it was really fun. That is it for day one of the World Rowing Indoor Championship event presented by Concept2. Good to fuel up, good to rest up. Enjoy the women's event after this and then we rest. For tomorrow, we've got three more events to do. So I'll see you there, bright and early here, tomorrow. But it depends how much energy you need to spend to get there. So some, some like I, what number are you? Four. So like I could see everyone split. So, I, so like some people are at two minutes. I was like, well, I just have to be faster than that. So you'll have to react to the numbers. So almost don't push super hard, um, but push, use, and we've made it back to the stadium for day two here at the World Rowing Indoor Championships presented by Concept2. Today, like I mentioned, we've got three events rather than two. Three of them, starting with pace and power that we tried to do, tried to experiment with the other day, but unfortunately couldn't. So the idea of this workout is we've got 20 minutes. Every minute the rate will change, which will be decided by the crowd. Either it will go 18 to 37 or 37 down to 18. We get points for consistency on the split and the rate. So try to hit 18, 19, 20, 21, etc. And choosing your split and trying to stick to that average. But there's a little spanner in the works. There's points for the fastest minute. The most meters covered in one minute. And you can choose when that minute is. So, do you mess up your consistency and try and do a really fast minute and come top of that leaderboard? Or do you hold your consistency and just hold a steady rate, steady pace and stick to the rates? Either way, a very, very strategic one this morning. And then we go into two more events. One, which is the Sprint Pyramid, starting off with 200 meters, then 500, then 800. Depending on how you get on, you'll be eliminated or not. And then the last event, the Chase, which is essentially a 2,000 meter row on the row machine, but you'll get a little bit of an advantage depending on your placing. And speaking of placing today, we're still not 100% sure where I stand. I was fourth, I was second immediately, so that was all right. And then I ended up getting bumped down to fourth, and now potentially might be getting bumped down again to fifth, but we will find out. Right now, I think I'm tied in second place, a good place to be. But I might be pushed down to maybe third or tied, third or fourth, depending on how the results get shared later on this afternoon. But that's for future Yam Squad to look forward to. Right now, we've got 
the power and pace workout to do. The women are doing theirs first, so we get to see how they approach it. And for us right now, it's a case of which strategy will we choose? Probably better to decide before we actually get on the machines. And it's time for the women to start their event. Attention. So here we'll be able to see, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, on the screen there, on the screen you have consistency and your best minute. So it looks like some people are going out right now with to see their fasting go and get their best minute. Other people are just trying to hold a rough pace. So you can see with Ella Fox is going hard. So she's wanting to use the rate and get a fast minute. So rank high there. But that will hurt her consistency. But it's only the first minute. So a big, big strategy one here. And it's going to be really good for us to be able to see everyone racing first. And there we go. Finished off the women's round. Now it's our turn. And just trying to figure out now how they approached it. And then we can apply that to how we're going to approach it. So we'll warm up time. And then we'll head out onto the floor. Almost race time. Almost race time. Round three. And we're all warmed up. Now we wait till we go in and get on the floor. And now we go for round three, power and pace. Woo! Sit ready. Attention. concentration so now we see how that ranking puts us on to the further rankings now we fuel up we get a little bit of stretch and that was a good leg mover I didn't go too hard I didn't go some of the guys went really hard in a minute I didn't do that and tried to be consistent and didn't quite get there either but now let's relax just relaxing in the Versa room post fueling up, because remember food is fuel, and a little bit of an assessment of the previous round, probably a little bit disappointed with how that ended up unfolding, but it is what it is, and we deal with the cards we're dealt. Um, I am in fourth place, which puts me in a, so the next round is 200 meters, then if you qualify, if you do that, 500, and if you do that, you're in the last two racing 800 meters in the since I'm fourth I will be racing fifth place and twelfth place. Fifth place. We've got I don't want to intimidate you for my quads. <laughs> We've got Andy and then twelfth. Uh, you're not twelve. You're not twelve. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. together. Yeah. 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 And we're racing as well. <laughs> and so kind of we'll see how we get on there. I'm on the last erg so I get to watch the screens and see what's going on but hopefully it's 200 meters so you basically just go as hard as you can and then I think there'll be a little bit of strategy <laughs> there'll be a little bit of strategy going into the 500 and 800 because the next event is also going to be really hard so depending on where the placings are and what other people will be doing in their 200s and other heats will kind of determine how hard you want to go in that 500 so let's find out 
what we're going to do for now more rest we've actually a lot more time than i thought between this event and next event so maybe a little bit more food not too much keep it hydrated and then we get warmed up and get back on the race floor <laughs> Now it's our turn to watch the women do their sprint pyramid. So in the first heat, we've got Taryn and Elizabeth. So we'll see how they get on 200 meters as fast as they can. And whoever wins goes on to the next, to the semi-final, which is 500 meters. Seconds to complete 200 meters, fantastic time, all the way down at 120, 121. Now, more heats, and then on to the semi final for the 500 for Elizabeth, and then we'll see how we get on there. Now, we've got Morgan and Elizabeth in the 500 meters, so the semi final of this, let's see how we get on. There we go, Elizabeth winning her semi-final. Great job to Morgan as well. Pushing each other all the way through. So 132 for Elizabeth, finishing off there very strong. Now another semi, and then the final 800 meters where I think, I would think there'll be a bit of strategy in there because 800 meters is a long way, especially given the next event's going to be pretty tough. Sit ready. Attention. And it looks like, given the stroke rates are a bit lower and the splits themselves are a bit lower, I think they had a little chat before the 800, Charlotte and Elizabeth, to go at the same pace. I'm not sure if they agreed which one will win, or maybe they'll do the last 100 as fast as they can. But definitely, this isn't going to be a flat out for them. Like I said, the positions on the rankings won't change with these two in the final. So they're just going to finish this one off, get their points, then head to the recover. Now, it's time for us. We've got about an hour. So keep on resting, a little bit of fuel. Then we're going to warm up and get out there and do what the women have just done. Okay, time to warm up. I'm a little bit nervous for this one because this one is everyone's going flat out and the times are going to be super close and it can make quite a big difference for me. So I'm a point behind third, two points behind second. And so if I can knock some people out, I can make a big difference come the next challenge where I get extra meters on that one. So pretty important for this one to get off the line and do those 200 meters as fast as possible. So getting a good warm up in will be pretty important. Warm-up pretty much done, just get a couple more bursts in and then we'll see how we get on. We've got 10 minutes or so before we organise and then 10 minutes after that we get on to it. So probably just get a little bit more sweaty, keep the warmth up, but because the 200 metre like, is such a short event that we're all going to blow up. And so doing a high, hard burst in the warm-up, quite close to it, is going to even just take slight fraction off of that 200. So it's right in that balance a little more than we normally would on a 2K warm-up. And that's who we'll be competing against, along with Andy over there. And it's just really cool back here. So less and less events going on, uh, so less and less people. And right now it's mostly Versa athletes. And we're all just trying to rip the chain off, which is pretty cool to see. So now, Finish up the warm up and then get on to 
the floor once again. Here we go, 200 meters as fast as we can. Let's go. So we're now in the first heat. We're just gonna watch this first heat and then it'll be our turn. Sit ready. Attention. Absolutely sending it. And Joe makes it through from a solid 28.9 seconds. Absolutely savage. Around 111, 112. Now it's our turn. Sit ready. Attention. And there we go. Andy. So Andy, we were neck and neck. Me unfortunately. Took a stumble. Missed the seat. And ended up taking the win. 29.2 seconds. Surprised how low the split went. Confidence for later on. Time for a 500 meters against the big fin. Attention. Front start. Attention. And now the other semi-final. I managed to beat Sit the ready. rowing fin in that one, but it was a very strategic Attention. one between the two of us. Now to watch the next semi-final to see who we're up against for 800 meters. The winner of the other semi there, Zach, will be sitting right here while we do the 800 meters. I would rather be the other way around so I can see the screen. We're just going to have to react on the other screens around. Sit ready. Attention. into the Versa room, we've got the food, because remember food is fuel post the second last event, pre the last event, so that worked out quite well with the standings, we've not got the official results but I think that puts me in second place, so that means for the next event it's 2k minus a certain amount of meters, or 1900 plus a certain amount of meters, so since I'm in second place that'll be 10 meters on top of 1900 meters, could have explained that a bit better but hopefully it makes sense. So, 1,910 metres against the rowing fin doing 1,900 metres. He's in fantastic shape, doing some insane numbers. So it'll be really tough to get close to him, and that's the aim. Just go out there and do 1,910 metres as fast as possible. And then, depending on how we're feeling, just really just ratcheting, ratcheting it in in the last 500 or so. So now... We keep on fueling, not too long till we start the next event, so can't be eating too much, and then that will be us almost finished. But for now, a little bit more rest, sitting down, chilling out, then we get on to the race floor. And we've made it to the warm-up ergs. We've got the Yam Squad uniform on for the last event. 1,910 meters. 
I think it's going to be a little bit of strategy involved as well, rather than just going flat out. We'll see what happens. Things will unfold, how they unfold. The cards will be dealt, and we will deal with them how they are dealt. So now, a warm up, and I'll see you out there. Here we go, last event, 1910 meters. Let's go. Second place in the Versa Challenge 2024 and first place to the big fin. Here we come. And just everyone congratulating each other. Not only obviously the results right there, big fin, me in second, Magic Magic, as we've nicknamed him, don't know if he knows that, in third place. Not only just about the results, but being here and doing things with these people as well as world rowing. So a quick thank you very much to World Rowing for the opportunity and letting me do a little behind the scenes for the World Rowing Indoor Championships presented by Concept2. Now it's time to give this trophy, well no, yes, to give this trophy to the big fin and then we get to see the women see how fast they can go for their last event. And there we go. A silver medal here in the Versa Challenge at the World Rowing Indoor Championships. A pleasure to race against all these guys and a pleasure again to be invited or to take part, to be able to take part. Now, let's see how the women get on. Sit ready. Attention. And they're on. It's going to be interesting to see how this strategy unfolds. So what we're seeing now is some strategy unfolding, especially in the middle of the race. The Elizabeth probably in control. She's up by 20 or so meters, but in the middle, we might we might see the end is places pushing up and then end up pushing up into the top places as well. So we've got Jess, Eddie, and a mule just seeing if they can. They're fighting for fourth and fifth, but they could push into third if they keep pushing off each other. So it's much more exciting to watch here, maybe than it was to just be nervous and actually compete. This strategy, the experience from Jess, just holding on in the middle there and is pushing on when she knew. Charlotte holding her off just at the end, 0.4 seconds in it. And then Elizabeth Gilmore showing real class, holding her pace, finishing off ahead of everyone by about eight, seven and a half seconds. Absolutely fantastic, really good racing. And now the medal ceremony for the women. Jessica Eddy in third, Charlotte Dixon in second, and Elizabeth Gilmore in first. Now that's a lot of ergs.
and that is us out of the competition arena and the end of the 2024 World Rowing Indoor Championships presented by Concept2. I know I've already said thank you, but thank you to World Rowing for the opportunity for this collaboration video. It's been a really good experience, similar to the last time I did the World Rowing Indoor Championships in Paris in 2022. One of those experiences where you get a bit nervous, you're not sure how it's gonna go, and regardless of the result, it's just a really good experience, whether it's to look back on. It's just a really good experience to be part of and something I'm definitely gonna look back on. For now though, it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel, especially after three big events and not too much fueling throughout all of today. And using this experience for me as well to help motivate me going forward. It's really good to be able to just chat to different people, get different perspectives, both in Versa and outside Versa. And it's been amazing to see so many members of the Yam Squad and all the Yam Squad athletes competing this weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to sign up to the Yam Squad training program, because I had a lot of questions here about that. So I thought I'd let you guys know too. But now that is it for this episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below how we can improve. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode.